Hi, Barrett. Hi, Rum. I just started the programming of my PXC4 and PXC5, but I haven't checked the online trainings yet. Do you think you can show me how to program my hidden code? Oh, yes, Ruben. With ABT side, programming is really child's play. Let me show you in the programming editor. We start with adding the input and output objects to our program. In the library, we see a huge list of pre-engineered generic and specific field devices and narrow down the list by applying some filter criteria. Like for our sensor, we are looking for a nickel 1000 sensor mounted in a duct. The list is narrowed down. We take one of them and drag and drop it to our program. For the output, we basically do the same. This time we filter for the valve and we take the first output of the library and drop it again to our program. And for the control logic, we do the same. We want a PID controller to control our valve. So this time we filter for controller. And again, we drag and drop our block to the program. So basically, if I need to add field devices or function blocks, I just need to filter them from the library and drag and drop it into my programming area. That's good to know. But now that we have those elements integrated, is there a way that we can reduce the amount of information displayed on the page? Oh, you're right, Ruben. There's currently a lot of information displayed. For the wave position, let's see how we can adjust the pin visibility. For this, we click, we click on the block, we choose Properties. In the tab Interface, we see a list of all input and output pins and a column for the pin visibility. We can deselect the checkboxes one by one or mass select them and deactivate it. And like this you can also adjust pin visibility for other blocks. The view of the plant information is much clearer now. Now can I connect those blocks together to get the control logic up and running? For this all you have to do is you click on the output pin of the temperature. The connection is now glued to your mouse cursor. You hover over the controller and see highlighted in green the magic pins. We choose the control input pin and click to establish the connection. On the output side we do the same. Again we click the output pin of the controller, we hover over to the wave position, find the magic pin which we click to do the connection. And here we confirm that we want to enable the controller to command it on a low priority. Like this, the control logic is set up. That was a thoughtless. Now that my control logic is operational, what if, what if I want to have the set point of my controller on BACnet? For this, all you have to do is you have to um, go to the set point pin of this controller, right click and choose read this information from BACnet as an analog configuration value object. Click and here you have your set point available in the program. Great, so my programming is ready. And how can I check that it's working correctly? For this we have to go to the play mode. And now we are in the play mode, as you can see, indicated by this orange frame. We see the live values and see our valve, which is opening. So Ruben, your first aggregate is up and running. Nice, and I really like these graphical function blocks. On one side you get a clear overview of your programming setup and with the assignment of the device and the HVAC functions with drag and drop, it really makes my work easier. Thank you for the explanations, Barrett. You're welcome. If you would like to learn more tips on how to engineer a building automation system in an easier way, check out the other ABT site how-to videos.